Hello and welcome to the new Power BI related video and in this video I want to show you how you can get the last n weeks that mean one week, two week, five week depends on what the week is that's why I'm keeping n. So last n weeks date from latest selected date slicer. So this is something what I showed you the latest selected how you can get the latest selected date from date slicer and uh, that is your max date and uh, selected start date. Now this video is just an extension to this because this is a natural next requirement. Once you know, okay, this is my latest selected date, then how would I manipulate this date, right? So with that, in, so to show that, I want to uh, give you an example over here uh, that is basically based on last end week's date from latest selected date. All right, before I show you, just a quick information that uh, this Google Sheet is where I keep all of my Power BI related videos and the link of this sheet is present in the description of this video. That way you can come over here, search any of my videos, control F or by filtering uh, from the top and uh, jump to that video using the link present in column B. So whole idea is this that you are able to search without much of an issue. Also, I'm keeping uh, exercise related video in a second tab. So if you are interested in that, you can do that. So I keep updating the sheet. So make sure you bookmark this. So whenever you need anything, you have it here in this live sheet. All right. With that, let me jump to the Power BI. So here what we have is the Power BI related uh, uh, slicer or this, this sheet, right? And uh, over here, what we need is basically uh, the selected date. I believe I have ended that. Uh, I have the selected start date, right? Um, so let me select this, copy and click on a new measure. And uh, that will be selected and date, right? And instead of first date, I will say last date, right? So I have it over here. Once we have it, last selected date, we can view it over here in the card selected and date, which is 14th of Feb, right? So I will keep it over here. Then what do we do is we create a new measure. Um, previous two weeks from latest and date right and we will what we will do is we will use the date add function in that i will going to choose the um what do we have is the latest right uh, what was the name selected and date select okay so here we need to directly use this latest date column so we have this date previous two weeks date okay ideally it should give but looks like it is not giving because it is going in a different table so let me delete it first and again go into the superstore table and over here click on the new measure previous two weeks so let me just keep it or you can say previous two weeks from latest selected date and we will say date add within that let me just see if i can bring in the selected and date okay uh, can i bring the latest date so ideally it should give me so for some weird reasons it was not giving me the last date so what i did then is i simply picked up the date and then i clicked on this last date and then it is giving me the information i don't know why but it's just weird because even i was pressing the last date now it is giving me sometimes it is weird Okay, so date add last date. Last date is based on the order calendar date, right? That's what it is in the filter. So order date calendar. 
because this order date calendar is based on the order date over here and both the tables are joined and then we want to get the last two weeks so that means 14 days and day right so you can have day month year whatever you need so when you click ok and finally it is coming so previous two weeks what i'll do is i will bring the calendar over here and uh, that way you can bring the date information so you have this 28 which is uh, from the sorry this is not the right date this is the positive that means it has moved up not the previous so it will be negative that's the change so that is 31st of Jan and 14 days from that is 14th of Feb. You can clearly see. Now you can use the date functions like date between and all to bring up the total or anything that you like. Similarly, you can last date, you have the first date as well because that is something I showed you that similarly you have the first date where you can pick up the date that is uh, the start date based on this range and uh, you can get the output as per your needs well that's pretty much it for this video and i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic